Start off with a bronze beam. Caroline out of the, the well, joining the world again of fishing, and uh, I thought it good to take out a 11 year old rod, which <laughs> it's got a bit of rust on the on the the guide shoes, but not on the rings. But uh, just from a bit of a sentiment, let a fish with her old beside an 11 foot six. This rice brought me a lot of luck before, so I can't see why not now. This morning I quickly made a couple of bronze bream traces. I found uh, some Dahichi chinus and uh, true to their word, sharpest hook. I'm a big fan of mustad, you guys know that. But we'll try some Dahichis again today. I used to fish with them years ago and had no problem with them except that they rust quickly, which is actually a good thing. It's not a bad thing, it's a really, really good thing. It's a head-on prawns from Adcan Marine. Now, I'm just going to cut the heads off. And on the first cast, just chuck them in the water there for a bit of flavor in the water. Not, no other anglers here. So we just help it on a bit. Mill Kingfisher floats and Corda anti tangle sleeves. I'm a big fan of that, been using them for years and years. I actually found some very nice Nash ones, which is half that length, but I couldn't find them again. With bronze bream, it's very important that your hook trace is half. Let's work on half or a third, depending on how long your sinker line is of your sinker line. Your sinker line should be a thinner diameter. So that when it gets stuck you can break it off otherwise just make a normal overhand knot in it and pull it tight that creates a weak spot for it i put a piece of leader on here on my braid then as you will see that's as i explained shorter and there's the overhand knot i'm fishing very thin i expected clean water where we were going at first so it's a 0.43 fluorocarbon siglon i'm using but uh, you can use a 5 or a 5.5 to be safe. And then just a 3 ounce little ball sinker. I find they're most effective here in the reefs and stuff. You can use a nylon grab as well, which uh, doesn't get as stuck as much as what you would think it would. It's actually quite a rock friendly sinker. And when you cut your bait, you cut it halfway into the meat so it folds open nicely like that butterfly. Take your shell off neatly and that's what we're going to put on the hook. Now bronze bream, vegetarian fish. And over time, anglers figured out that they take prawn and chocker. Chocker blob bait works as well. And uh, feed in small shoals. Sometimes fairly large shoals. Close to the reef and on the reefs. Where they feed on that thick green grass. Now that's where you want to target them. They move in those small shoals. And sometimes you only get them in that small little area. If you lose a bronze bream, a good chance it's going to chase the rest away. 
a new shawl might come in, but it's better to uh, rather move with the shawl. And the same goes for releasing them. You need to walk 50 meters away and release them, or keep them in a pool until the end of your session, then you can release all of them. Now, it's not necessarily that you arrive at the spot in the year, but we know the spot and we know they feed on that certain rock. So it's not a bad spot to hang around for them to possibly come in. That's why I put all those heads in. So we'll give it a good half an hour, fish for different things. The water is brown, we can actually have a throw. Don't bring too much, I brought one rod, a bigger rod, and to have a throw maybe to the back and see what's there. But let's first try and see if we can get one of these bronze bream, a nice big fat one. This time of the year, they're nice and big and fat, so that's why we're here. And guys, uh, you're allowed to per person, but if, it's a slow grower as well. So only keep it if you're really, really going to eat it. Lovely tasting fish, but release as many as possible, thanks. eating us a bit. This fish gets up to a, a nice disc size, not a lot of weight because they're so flat. But actually a very nice fish to catch. You use a smaller hook than this to target them. But uh, the bigger ones, very nice fighters. so light it obviously got me around the reef I just managed to land it look at that but you get the bite they're very shy this morning and how they bite and how they're taking the bait oh yeah that's a new trace then put a new trace and we'll keep him in the pool here and have a few casts got some uh, cracker shrimp they're doing all right they've got three fish out already in a nice really big one but they're eating very very shy in the normal prawn and i remember actually last time crayfish worked better here than the normal prawn and that's how spots differ it's very interesting how it works but uh, we got a couple of bites but very shy and lazy bites on the prawn so we're gonna call it our uh, wind is getting stronger but we'll definitely be back sometime to see with the right bait and try and get some bigger ones. Further down the coastline, Kamar and Naiko were targeting bronze bream on entry level ultra ultra light tackle.
very cheap and we had fun on night jackal. Got a big Sony earlier. Now I've got this beautiful, beautiful uh, bronze beam. An ultra, ultra light jackal. This is getting up higher. Take the hooks and take the photos. Please remember to subscribe to the AIDS event channel and to hit that little bell icon if you would like notifications of when we upload new content.